This is an exercise to learn how to create variables within HPSS. First, you open up your software SPSS, go to variable view, then create uh, the variable record number. So here, here I'm going to show you how. Okay, so this is a variable. Okay, we have two views. One is the data view, the other is the variable view. So right now we are in the variable view. So you can see down there. So now we are going to click on this area name. We will type the record number. Then the type. This one is going to be string. How many characters? Only three. For our samples that does not exceed 999. Click OK. Okay. So now you can see already you have created your first variable record number. Okay, so we have already achieved this. We already created the first variable. Okay, so the variable is record number, and this, you already seen how it is displayed. So let's go down to create all the other variables. So we're going to create age, race, resident, marital, educate, and type of work. Okay, so we're going to create all the other variables. So let's just type all the variable name first. So first one, age, race, residence, educate, and type of work. So age is a numeric. Okay. The maximum number of age is one hundred, maybe. So three. The variables do not have decimal point. Okay, three zero. Resident is going to be string. Okay, sorry. Race string one. Okay, okay. So we're going to copy in this. And paste it on the other two. Okay. So again, we're going to copy this. And paste it. Okay. Resident string eight characters. Okay. So we have done this. H, race, resident, educate, type of work. Okay. As you can see, we miss one. We miss marital. So we're going to insert marital. Okay. H, race, resident, marital, educate, type of work. So here we're going to insert. Insert variable. So we're going to insert marital. Okay. Marital status of patient. Again, it is numeric. String, sorry, it is string. One character. Okay. okay. Now we're going to show you how to create labels. Usually for qualitative variables, we use numerical code to re represent the group. Example, we're going to code one for male, two for female. Why we don't use the letter M and F? Because we have a small letter and big letter. We have a small letter and capital letter. So for the small letter, they end up with difference yeah, with the okay. So if you use small letter and capital letter, you may have this kind of errors where you have small m and the big m. So you end up with two different kind of male and uh, male with small letter, male with capital letter. So it is better to use another method. If the data is dichotomous variable, usually we code 1 for present and 0 for absent. We also need to remember to code for missing values. So usually when we code for missing values, if the data is missing, the response did not fill up that part, we use a value which is not part of the valid response. For example, for gender, if you're coding male as 1, female as 2, then if they did not put in the agenda, you put in the missing value as 9. Okay. 
if uh, for ethnic in the West West Malaysia, we use the missing value as the number nine also. However, if you are coding for East Malaysia, because the races have more than uh, two characters, okay, so we have to code the missing value as 99. So we will start with defining the value labels for race. Okay, so you can see for race we have these variables. Okay, we're going to click on the button right after labels there. Eh? So for race we're going to type in ethnicity. Okay, for values we're going to go in one for Malay. Okay. Two for Chinese, three for Indians, four for others. Okay, okay. okay. Don't forget nine for missing value. So when you click OK, you can just define missing as 9. Click OK and you're done. So what happens is when you're entering your data, for example here, 001. Since we have the race 1. Two, three, four. The reason is once we already enter the label, we can also have a pull down combo. We shall continue to create a value label for marital, education, and type of work. Okay, so right now we are creating variables. So one is for those working in the One is for the housewife. Two is for the office workers. Three are those for working using manual labor. Okay, so we already created the variables for marital, so you can see here for marital, one for single, two for married, three for divorce or widow. Educate, we have nine, one for none, two for primary, three for secondary, four for tertiary, and finally for the last one type of work, we have housewife, office workers and manual labor. Okay. Okay. So whenever we enter the data, let's just enter for example here. Okay. So you can see here for marital, you can pull down single, married, divorce, educate. We have no schooling. Primary, secondary, tertiary. So I work, we have all three. We have housewife, we have office workers, and we have the manual laborers. So we're done. So that is how we create variables and how we create labels for all the. Variables.